Daytime baseball here on MLB and Network. Down. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Washington Nationals and the Baltimore Orioles. Here now is Trey Turner, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Now the payoff pitch home. 65 degrees, our temperature here at first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Smith has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Striding into the box, Juan Soto. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting third. The first base Cabrera. So now to the plate as Dribble Cabrera. To two and two now. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. That is four. Coming to the plate now, Kurt Suzuki. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Popped him up. Ruiz has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Stepping in, Carter Keboom. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. He froze him on the fastball there. Hanser Alberto is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Here's the one-and-one -one delivery. There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Batting four. The first baseman, Renato. In now, Renato no, Nunez. Yeah. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in the zone with a nice executed pitch. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. 
And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Chance Sisko. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back -back case with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. And he fouls this one off. Santander on third. Ruiz on at second with two down. Hit hard on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first is going to be in time. And the Oriole threat goes by the wayside as the inning is over. And that'll bring up Josh Harrison. The 3-2 pitch. Rounded weakly to the left. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Victor Robles. The 1-1 home. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Batting eight. The white fielder, number three. Michael A. Taylor. Into the box now. Michael Taylor. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. But the runner's back easily. No score here as we play inning number two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. In the air out to right. Santander waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Wilmer Defoe. Runners on the move for second. A pitch out. The throw. And they'll nail him at second on a brilliant call to pitch out. And the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, Pedro Severino. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Pedro Severino set packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And it's fouled away. And... Two and two. Count, two and two. Swung on and grounded to the second baseman, Defoe. On to first, and Scherzer's on a roll now, two away. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Velika. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 1 home. Bottom of the second here with no score. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Ground ball left side. Oh, beautiful dive. Got him. And now for Washington, Wilmer Defoe. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. And oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. Throw to first, but he's safe. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. 
the football. Play Turner. At the plate, Trey Turner. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit, making him one for two in this one. To the plate now, Juan Soto. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Outside and a full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he popped him up. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Up next to Washington, the first baseman. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Ready with the payoff pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Number 28. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Kurt Suzuki flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Hit out towards second. A bare hand for one. On to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Now that is so a man at third here with two gone and in steps Carter Keboom to give it a try. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this and out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Stepping in now Josh Harrison. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup, or do you stay with the heater? The 1-1. One, one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Even count two balls and two strikes. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting Three another changeup. Three and two now. Oh, and they've got him picked off. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Here's the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. Mullins is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. In now for the O's, Cedric Mullins, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. There are... There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. At the plate now, Hanser Alberto. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Anthony Santander the next to bat. Anthony. Now the 2-1 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Still two and two. Now here's the pitch. Three balls, two strikes.
checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Now batting, Rio Ruiz. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Two and two. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything, and then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Now batting. And here's Renato Nunez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One and two now. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Michael Taylor. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. The batter number one, second baseman, Wilmer Defoe. So now to the plate, Wilmer Defoe. Ball two. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Fouled off. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Number 70 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Play. Into the box now, Trey Turner. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. From the stretch. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. The left field, number 22, Juan Soto. In now, Juan Soto fouled away. Five runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And he fouls this one off. Another try at 2-2. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Line drive. Base hit into the left center field gap. Now this gets all the way to the wall. Now the relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. The first baseman, Adrubal. Standing in now, as Dribble Cabrera. Count remains full. The 3 2 one more time. Popped him up. Ruiz backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. 
Now the 2 1 pitch misses off the plate. Carter Keyboom is on deck. Bonnie bailed him out with a swing three and two now. And the payoff pitch. There's ball four. Ready to take his hacks again. Carter Keyboom as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, and his last at bat he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this AB to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2. Skied into straightaway right. Santander is there. Two down. Josh Harrison stands in. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Josh Harrison. 3 2 pitch. Full count still. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the DH, Chance Cisco. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robles is under this one. And he's got it for out number one. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Victor Robles. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Michael Taylor will be next. Skied into straightaway right. Santander waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Digging in once again, Michael Taylor. He's working on a one for two game so far. One out, nobody on. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard, but foul. And a full count, three and two to Michael Taylor. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The batter number one, second baseman, Wilmer. Stepping in now, Wilmer Defoe. Pitch outside, the throw in time as he just gets the tag down. Now here's the pitch. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. 
Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping up is the shortstop, Pat Valaika. This one doesn't look good so far, down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play, and a big Number mistake 30. there. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Payoff pitch one more time. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So the batting order turns over now, now and set to go. Hanser Alberto. Hanser. No hits to this point. Alberto. Now the one and one pitch. Clips the zone low and outside for a strike. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Now another two two. Struck him out. Struck him out again. I should say his third punch out of the game. The right field. Digging in the switch Anthony. hitter, Anthony Santander. Dan Runner in Andrew. scoring position with Sugan. Ready with the one and one. Hey. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a called strike two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Miguel Castro gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Juan Soto. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Stepping in as Dribble Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And here's a swing and a miss from Cabrera as he set down on strikes and there's one away. Now at the plate, Kurt Suzuki. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Runners on first with one down. Now a swing and a miss here by Suzuki as he set down on strikes for the second out. Now back. Striding in, Carter Kiboom. He homered back in the third inning in this one. And this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. The 2-1. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Here now the 2-2. Looked like a sinker there, but he got under it anyway. This is lifted out to left. Smith is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rio Ruiz. Changeup laid off down around the shins. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. 
And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten Objective strikeouts for him thus far. The first baseman, Renato Nugent. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. The designated hitter. Cisco. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back-to-back -back innings. Six in a row, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up Josh Harrison. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Victor Robles digging in now. He's working on a one for three thus far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone into the corner and slicing foul. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Thank you. Michael Taylor waits on deck. Now the payoff pitch home to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. Riding in once again, Michael Taylor. So far, two Michael for three in this one. The 1-1 one, one pitch. And he misses two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either of them. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Ready now for Baltimore, Pedro Severino. And he'll lead things off against Max Scherzer. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Pedro Severino is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. To two and two now. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. So striding in, Pat Valaika. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And he's going to add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Sean Armstrong comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Wilmer Defoe. Here it comes on one and one. Up high, two and one now. 
Two balls, one strike. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batting. Shortstop. Clay Turner. At the plate, Trey Turner. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Here now is Juan Soto. It was a walk in his last trip. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Hit down the line at first. He's got it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out. But meanwhile, the run is in to score. How about it? Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center, but he'll flag this one down toward the alley. Nearly trouble, but instead the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Cedric Mullins. Now the 2 1 pitch is strike two swinging. Two, two strikes. Look out. Four Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Back to the top now of the back. Oriole lineup Second now and stepping in, Hanser Alberto. It was Alberto. a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this AB in. So striding forward right now, team. Anthony Santander Anthony. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's Scherzer now, one and one. Line toward the alley in left center. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Ryan Harper will come on in relief now as he'll now make his 10th appearance of the season. Rio Ruiz. So now to the plate, Rio Ruiz. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Fouled off. He's set. Here's the three and two. And another foul ball. The next 3-2. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first now man he faces. The first baseman. So now Renato. it'll be the four-hole hitter, Renato no, Nunez. Yeah. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring in the catcher Kurt Suzuki set to deal on a ball and two strikes heading out towards shallow right Santander waits on it Makes the play, one away. Standing in, Carter Keeboom. He's one for four for the game. Popped up. And there's out number two.
To the plate now is the designated hitter, Josh Harrison. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1-1 home. On the ground to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Into the box, Victor Robles. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit in the air out to center field. Mullins will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Daniel Hudson comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. A ball and two strikes now. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. So coming to the plate, Pedro Severino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. On to first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Into the box now, Dwight Smith Jr. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1 now from Hudson. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Baltimore down to their final strike. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a two-out single. So the bottom of the ninth is still alive after the two-out success. Now batting, not shortstop, pass. In now, Pat Valaika. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Fouled away. Two out with the man at first. And he fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up. And the Nationals continue the role they've been on. Seven straight victories now as this ball game is over. Eight to one is the final score this afternoon. Washington led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Max Scherzer takes the win on the mound his second of the year with 15 strikeouts. John Means permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.